what your favorite Monster Girl Quest girl says about you. Chapter 2 Frog Girl Either you love frogs or you really love frogs. Needless to say, I'm sure you must like to humanize frogs, but this isn't Tumblr. Wait, is it? Thoreau You aren't sure whether you see this monster as a plant or as a lung. Either way, I'm sure you will have a fun time explaining to the cops that you swear that she told you that she was 18. Zulahan Ever wonder how it felt like to have a good time with a disemboweled head in a museum? Yeah, me neither. But hey, I won't judge you. For once, I'll just stare at you from the seats, eating popcorn. Nekomata. You always wondered how in a game with there's cowgirls and actual cows, you could see a cat-like person just roaming around and asking for food. Some people would find that cute and attractive. But personally, if a homeless person with cat-like accessories came up to me and asked me for food, then I'd simply lay down some money and run far, far away. Yamata no Orochi. What? Was the Zulahan not good enough for you? What? Eight heads are better than one? Well, I guess I shouldn't judge you. Then again, if you're fine with a cobra like eight headed snake to lick you for sustenance, then I really wonder what kind of perfume you use, because I'm gonna do my best to not use it. The insect girls. Yeah, no. Just because you put a cute face on a girl on an insect that won't suddenly make it attractive. I mean, not unless you were drunk first, but then, would you really have a good time? The plant girls. Yeah, no. Just because you put human like features on a plant won't suddenly make it attractive. I mean, I guess it could tell us more, but to be honest, I don't see the point in life if your lifelong dream is to be digested by a Venus fight trap. The slime girls. Okay, I get it. You love that slime back in chapter 1 so much that you want a harem of them. I mean, yeah, sure, go for it. But if your goal in life is to be dissolved as nutrients for slimes, then I'm gonna stare from a really, really far distance. Undyne. I like Sylph and Gnome. Undyne doesn't seem to have bad, all things considered. But isn't she still technically a slime? I mean, yeah, learning how to use water is cool enough, but is it really worth it? At least, I don't think it's the worst way to die, all things considered. But hey, look on the bright side, at least you have a mummy type monster with you. Golem Girl. Huh. Of all the things you could find attractive, it was a rock? Dude, at that point, why not just get any random rock out there, throw a smiley face on it, and bam, you have your monster girl. Unfortunately, as silly as that sounds, I'm sure there's already a ton of people desperate enough that have tried to get it on with a piece of rubble. Automata Girl. So, you're telling me that out of all of these pretty monster girls, you chose a robot. What? 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 Are you telling me you're so shy that you prefer a robot over the real thing? And no, I don't care if she's fitted, whatever. She's still a robot. Open your eyes, man. The succubus girl. I... What? Uh, hmm. Yeah, no. I am literally speechless. And I'm sure there's like a lolly in there somewhere. Dude, why? Like... What? Was the robot not good enough for you? Ugh, just go sit in the corner over there. Succubus! I mean, I'm not sure what you expected. She's a succubus. Sure, she's not at the level of Alma Elma, but still, she's so generic. Maybe try harder next time? Succubus Witch. When I said try harder, I didn't mean it literally. That's just a succubus with a hat. And a hat is also somehow alive, too. Like, what? Lilith El Nilim. Yeah, no, I'm just going to stop, but look at the bright side, they're twins, so that counts for something, right? Too bad your life will probably not last for very long if they decide to turn their next meal. Silame. What do you get when you mix tentacles with a maid? Well, some would say Cthulhu wore her dress, but then again, what do I know? Also, she's very big, like incredibly big. Is that really what you want in life? She also forced people. Please think about it. Emily. When I said, please think about it, I didn't mean for a literal second and just go for tentacles. Ah! You do realize that she's hiding her true intentions, right? If you want tentacles that badly, just go to the witch hole village or something. You don't need to risk your life this badly. Cassandra! I... Uh, <sighs> no, I'm not doing this. Look, if you want to put your thinking crazy, then this is the one thing you should not do. It's like trying to date Lava itself. You don't do that. Lava girl. <sighs> of course, just when I literally said not to touch lava, you go up to me and said, Challenge accepted! Honestly, I really hope you can get yourself checked, because if you start imagining lava as a girl, then I'm sorry, there is literally nothing I can do. Dragon girl. When I said, get yourself checked, I did not mean at the mouth of a literal dragon! Are you crazy? How are you alive? Alright, oh, for a moment there, I forgot who I was talking to. Look man, I'm just going to stop trying to stop you. You're a lost cause. Solomon. Self is annoying, don't use a brick wall, and don't use a mummy. So, what's this? She's clearly not a lizard. She's not even wearing any clothes. Wait, she's a fire spirit. 
Who don't need the cheap food of her clothes? It makes sense if you think about it. Oh, and she doesn't seem half bad. If only it weren't for her attitude. But the Shrek reverse looks pretty cool though. Crab girl. Hey, wasn't that the same crab girl you found each other on? What is she doing here? Oh, she wants a rematch. I guess she didn't like you last time. Or maybe she wanted sloppy seconds. Only Elias knows. Go inside Thomas. Okay, what is this? Cricket's cousin? Did you love tentacles that much? Heck, even the last comment section loved their tentacle girls. What is with everyone loving tentacles? There's a time and a place for everything, but that is not now and ever. You don't stick your business in crazy. You just don't. Trick fairy. You know, I get it. It's a fairy. I mean, look, I'm going to stop trying to stop you. Because if you want to get arrested by cuffs that badly, I'm just going to turn on me right now. Wait, are there even cuffs in the universe? Huh, only one way to find out. Queen fairy. I mean, this time I can't exactly say anything. She looks very mature, unlike the past monsters. So she seems a bit too serious. I mean, I'm not going to judge you, but be careful with this one, yeah? Looks can be deceiving. Queen Elf. So you like the serious types? Huh, okay, okay, I mean, she doesn't seem half bad all things considered, but unless, you know, you're a human. <laughs> Wait, are you a human? Huh, well, if you are, I hope you were able to fulfill that bucket list of yours. Otherwise, you might not, um, live long. Sarah. So you found out about her hidden true nature. I mean, yeah, she has monster blood, that's one thing. But look at her, she's just crazy. You don't mess with crazy. I'm telling you for him's sake, dude, don't mess with the crazy eyes. Wyvern. So apparently this thing is a dragon, but like I just read the monster the entry and it's not looking good. You are aware that there are better monsters than this, right? No? Well, whatever, I'm going to try to help you anyway. Cure you! So this is basically a walking tiny island. Why would you like Oh right, you love giant woman, gotcha. Yeah, but I like a sandworm, this one can actually bore you. Is that really what you want? Oh, who am I talking to? If this is your favorite monster, I'm not gonna even bat an eye. Chimera Beast. So you like amalgamations of monsters. I mean, sure, it's one thing to like very subspecies into one, but isn't this one kind of solace? I mean, look at her! To me, it kind of feels like you like monotonous beings. Like, you do you, but still, you could do better. Chimera tried Vor. You know, I just kept the last one in chapter one intentionally. Why? Why well, just look at him! This kind of puzzle doesn't even flinch! It's like dating a wall with a drunk face on it! At least the, the actual plants and insects have unique features. This one is just... plant. Vampire. I mean, for once, I'd say you didn't make a bad move, considering the rest of your choices. So, unless you dislike a vampire in your blood for sustenance, then I'd say this one is a pretty decent alternative. Well, compared to the last one, anyway. Elder Succubus. Well, she's a succubus for one. I'm not sure what else you want me to say. You know what you were headed into when you decided to love succubi. I just hope you did the right choice this time. Yo! Oh, you thought Tamamo was an overrated, so you wanted a more unique monster. I mean, that's your choice. You can choose whoever you want to, but doesn't she seem a bit too, um, statistic? I sure hope you have a safe word with her, because, let's be honest, I doubt she even care to remember what it was. Im! Huh. Hmm. Im? Huh. Well, huh. Oh, whatever. Never mind. You got the weapon. Despite the fact that this one can actually kill you, she does look pretty epic, and she's one of the very few monsters who would have very unique theme song too. So, I hope you love her because of how intense her music is. Otherwise, well, I hope you prepare the whale. Alma Elma. Well, she's a queen of the succubi. She is in basically all the chapters. She literally helps you, makes you stronger. What's not to like? Oh, she's a succubus. Right. Uh, at least she's not trying to bore you like the time she tried to in chapter 1 if you didn't wild her with your new skill. Tamamo. Well, I wouldn't blame you. Out of all the monsters, this is literally safe and bad if you want to stay alive and live a good, happy act afterwards. And she knows how to make things right tough as well. Only problem is that she's a lolly. Um, I won't tell if you won't. Everybody, what do you think when you take a slime and mix in boiling water? Well, I'm not sure, but she sure as heck will try to dissolve you for it. But I hear she has a thing for shodas. What if you're not a shoda? Huh. Um, she has a thing that will forcefully make you into a shoda. So, um, good luck. From Maria. Oh god, your stalker is back. What? She wants to take in your strongest attack. Oh my. She seems a bit desperate. I mean, if that's what you're into, go for it, bud. But, you know, there are better Moses out there, right? I mean, if you're not into stalkers. Us! Either you love big snakes or you're into final bosses. I mean, not literally, but she is, kind of. You just spend most of the time with her, so I guess one would slowly fall in love with them. That's understandable. But isn't she, like, too much to the hero tropes? I mean, I understand, but it kind of feels weird if you think about it. Gotta see this. Technically, you only really get to see her if you said that hero tropes are overrated and that they should die. But we both know this isn't canon. I mean, this is canon. Yep, 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 yep. This is canon. Goddess Elise is the best waifu. There's nothing after this. Goddess Elise is the best girl. Please don't let Elise see this. Coming for part three. Bonus. 
Look at you love being the adventurer type hero. Though you have good intentions at heart, you can be a bit dense and sometimes somewhat immature. What? You don't think Luke is immature? What do you think has been writing all these descriptions of chapter 1 and 2? Well, it's not illness, I can tell you that much. 